<clears throat> Hi guys, it's Canada Graphs here, and this is a set video uh, for Batwoman. It is season three, and I don't know if this is for episode 12 or 13, or it could be a combination of both since they're from different nights. But um, this first scene you see here, this is Megan Tandy. She's doing a scene. She's actually doing a scene with uh, Robin Givens, but you don't really see her in the scene here. In fact, this was a take that she was uh, about to do and then whatever reason they like cut it you can see her there talking to Eric Dean Seaton who is the director of the episode um, so whichever episode Eric is directing I don't know if it was 12 or 13 but that's the episode they're shooting in this scene here um, you're just like walking away now clearly done with uh, that take that they never even took and uh, yeah, I, I thought I had more video from that day, but I couldn't find it when I went to go set this package together. This is a scene you see uh, the stunt double for Batwoman doing the fall from the uh, roof down onto the ground there. Um, yeah, it was like five stories, and there's always just like some random looky loo like stops right in front of you to like get in the way. So, you know, those things happen. Um, and there's her double getting ready to go back up in the air. Um, it was a it was a tough angle to shoot because of all of the parkades that keep getting in the way. But I did get little bits of it, as you'll see. Uh, you know, um, I had to set it up to try and give me the best chance at keeping up with her here. And I actually thought I did a pretty good job on this take coming up. Uh, usually they go too fast for me to keep up with, so. Not very often I uh, add these, but that time, that time I got it right. Here you see a drone flying through the air and in the far distant smoke. Yeah, you can't see him in this scene because it is so, so, so smoky in that alleyway. I've never been to a set where it was more smoked up than this one. Um, it was also pouring rain that night. As you can see on my lens at times, there's uh, water droplets that uh, got on there. Um, I've never been to a set that was this smoky though, so it was hard to see anything. I mean, I have some still photos that you will see in my blog if you go to my blog, but this is who was actually on set. Uh, zoom out there and then try and zoom back in. All right, all right, all right. You barely can make it out. You can see the neon blue there on the chest, and that is Batwing. Um, I would assume in that particular take it's Camrus Johnson since he's on the ground, but I don't know for sure. Could have been the devil. And that's it for video for this set. Uh, here are some still photos I took from the set uh, over those few days. Um, first off, you see Robin Givens there on set uh, as uh, Jada Jet. Uh, as I told you earlier, she was in that scene with um, Megan, and there's Megan there with the. Uh, director of the episode, Eric Dean Seaton. Just going over whatever. But I, as I told you, I told you Jada was in the scene with um, Sophie. And uh, here they are going over their lines in between takes. You can tell because they're still wearing their winter jackets. There's uh, Megan getting ready to put her mask on after a take. Uh, the, the guidelines about this stuff are still kind of strict and I'm curious if with the new uh, restrictions that have gone in recently on other things around here maybe they might uh, tighten up even more I guess I'll find out sooner or later here is uh, Robin getting her makeup done there is she is waiting to go uh, do her scene she's just standing around the corner from where the scene would take place there's um, Megan seeming to be looking right at me even though I'm almost two blocks away but you know, in the scene you can just see Robin's purse there in the bottom uh, half. That's who she is looking at. Uh, it's not me. <laughs> uh, there they are having their discussion at the uh, at the back end of the Rolls Royce. And Sophie's now standing there, looking in the car, being like, "What the hell?" Kind of has that look of like this didn't go well. There was then a scene where you know she has to go running down the alley after the car can't imagine she's going to catch up to it um here it is again you know them having their talk before uh jada gets into her vehicle 
there's that look again, that look of like, I don't know what to make of that. And, um, this is the car park that they did the uh, Batwoman stunt that you saw. Um, that's how many layers it was. So, now you got an idea. Uh, there is the stunt double, obviously, on the ropes, getting ready to go up. Uh, you know, um, anytime they have a scene that is too difficult or too uh, risky, even if the actor themselves it feels comfortable doing it, they will almost always use the stunt double, or at least they'll have the stunt double do it first to show the actor how to do it, so... Yeah, you know, that, that's just common sense safety, you know. Um, here she is. Uh, she has this villain of the week upside down, hanging, questioning him probably. This is that uh, bat wing scene. I did not get a lot of shots that night because he, uh, the alleyway was, as you saw in the video, very, very smoky. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, it was hard to see in the alley most of the night I you know managed to get a couple shots a few but not a lot and I don't know if I got any of cameras himself or if it was just a double but uh, this was the uh, drone up in the air and you can see just in front of the drone it's just all smoke you can't even see through there there was one other set where they had this uh, random flag and a bunch of people uh, running around but no cast were on set that day so I never really added it to anything because I Stood around, realized it was just a background scene, and took off after about uh, five minutes of being there. I just uh, took a few shots of that flag. I actually took quite a few, but I had trouble finding one where it wasn't flapping partially folded. So that was the best I could get. Um, and here's just some of that video again to uh, to you know lead you out of this video because this will be for Batwoman at least the last video of season three I did not catch up to them again after this they are now wrapped for the season the back half of the season begins uh, next week from when this video went up and uh, hopefully hopefully you guys are all checking it out because it's been a it's been a fun show and uh, seems to be getting better with each year um, uh, fingers crossed season four is coming uh, I'm reasonably sure it is but I don't know that to be a guarantee um, if not thanks to all the Batwoman fans that uh, did find my videos over the last couple of years if it does hope to see you back for season four and uh, we will definitely definitely be uh, checking them out when they do um, but for now that's it basically for uh, this season of Batwoman. Uh, who knows what next season has in store. Hopefully hopefully by then the uh, restrictions have lifted enough that I will feel more comfortable being closer to the set and maybe getting some more interactions with the cast in person and possibly, possibly be able to show you some of those. Um, uh, I, I did meet almost all of the cast this season at different points, but uh, I don't usually run video when I do interact with the cast much, but I've been considering it, so we'll see for next season. <laughs> but that's it for now. Thank you again for everyone that uh, followed or uh, you know clicked the like button this year, and I will definitely see you around next season. Bye.